What's up, Brads? This is Hoovervent, and uh, a topic I want to talk about today is connection. Uh, this is Modern Warfare 2 Search and Destroy, by the way. I've got some new games. All of my Modern Warfare 2 gameplays as of right now are brand new, sort of. Uh, maybe a day or two old as of this video. So connection is a big factor in Call of Duty, and I shoot that guy in the face there. And the reason I went there is because I noticed every game that I play on this map, Search and Destroy, for the most part, uh, someone always wants to go there, for the most part, not always, but always sometimes wants to go there, if that makes sense. So I always go there to cut them off, sometimes, most of the time, and it sometimes always works. So, if you play a game, the w a good way to detect lag, other than the fact that maybe your screen's twitching around and you're jumping all over the place, when you're not actually jumping, do the frame rate's bad, one thing you can do to detect how much lag you have, which could... Which, uh, which you can see how much of a problem it could be, is uh, shoot your gun, just hold down the shoot button, then press square to reload. And you'll notice as the bullets are going down, when you press the reload button, the bullet, the bullet indicator of how much you have in your gun left is going to jump up. And I noticed in a lot of, these, in a lot of the games I've played, it's about five or, s five or more bullets that I am not shooting when I see them shooting. And that's a major fucking problem. And that's why Call of Duty needs, like, dedicated servers. Because people, for one thing, have shitty internet connections. And I cannot play on their shitty internet. I don't see how anyone can do it. I know Juan's gotten, like, a couple of flawlesses on this so-called shitty-ass internet, but maybe that's just because he's used to it. It's like, oh my god, I can't do this shit. Like, I see people, I shoot, I'm already dead. I get five bullets off, and I'm already dead. I died, like, two seconds ago. But I'm sitting there shooting, and... No, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, except in hindsight, it does. It very matters m very much when I'm playing. But after the fact, it doesn't. So, because in reality, it is just a game. But, uh, so what? That doesn't mean I can't get mad at something just because it's a game. Shit! <laughs> okay, uh, on to quickscopers and stuff. Well, I have a clutch at the end of this game. And I noticed that in this game, a lot of people like to quickscope and they think they're good when they have their sleight of hand pro but in reality it's really easy and by the way Juan is a beast with his quick scoping sleight of hand pro stuff he's fucking awesome he's got some amazing clutches on his 10 sensitivity uh... with his sleight of hand but i don't care if he uses sleight of hand because uh... he's shooting other people with sleight of hand so it's an even fight and that's why i use the acr for the most part because uh... you know i gotta counter those quick scoper snipers somehow right i mean they get their fucking uh their insta kill to my foot with their sniper rifle and they can aim down instantly the sights it's like they have an ACOG from COD 4 but the f regular scope and they can one hit me in the foot so I use my ACR no recoil to counter their insta kill bullshit and sometimes it still doesn't even work out because everyone's usually doing it but whatever so I get a clutch at the end of this game and so when when did there become a law a, a code a written code of chivalry where that when people are quick scoping you have to quick scope back to them like fucking a I, I mean it's not a sniper lobby you didn't tell me hey we're quick scoping can you get a sniper rifle or something uh nope none of that and right here I shoot some bullets I probably went to kill them anyways cuz he had a uh, that but whatever I still shot bullets at and they didn't show up in the kill cam so what if they weren't going to hit him or not but I still shot them and they weren't there. So that's why uh, Homefront got the dedicated servers, right? I mean, it was bad when the game came out, but they fixed their shit. It's good now. So, I keep going off topic. So I got a clutch at the end, and the people are calling sh they're talking shit and stuff because I didn't let them kill me. Didn't let them get a game-winning kill cam with their sleight of hand pro and their little spin like a ballerina. I didn't let them do that bullshit. They could have easily killed me at any time. But uh, they were dumb enough to let me kill them. I mean, I got a f an M4, and they got their uh, their little interventions or whatever the crap. And they want to spin in circles and shoot me? No, fuck you! I'm gonna kill you. And I got a I got a I got a I didn't record at the time because the game was going so bad, the connection was subpar, and my team was getting their ass kicked. I was kind of getting my ass kicked. The whole other team was sniping, but on the very last round. I was in the bunker in a sub base between uh, the A side and B side dom. And uh, basically, they just bum rushed me and 
you know, there was one guy behind cover. I had a tar that game. I didn't, like I said, I didn't record it because the game was going bad. I finished it like nine and six, but I took out the entire six, six people in the last round. So yeah, I was only three and six. And another thing, there was this guy. Uh, it seems like I was bumping into a lot of the same people in Search and Destroy, and my party was winning for the most part, almost every time, other than the fact that there was bad connection and or stupid fucking worthless garbage teammates. One game, I think they had someone join session, because what was happening is uh, he kept just spraying his gun, shooting around and shit, and like halfway through the last round, he left the game, and then I ended up leaving the game. And then somehow he sent, he knew I rage quit or whatever. And uh, the only way he would have known that is if uh, he was in the game or if someone told him that I left. So I'm assuming he was he joined that session just so he could fucking help his friends or something win. Uh, some of that bullshit. So there's this one guy, XFXRE. I'm guessing that's supposed to be XFair or something. XFXRE. Who's was just a big fucking shit-talking fucking punk. And we we beat him three three different games, and every single time he he uh, rage quit the game, and then he uh, continued to talk shit and say, "Oh, one v one pussy," you know, I'm not even a quick scoper. I know he would fucking beat me, and he's like, "Oh, you scared?" No, I'm not. I'm not scared over a, a video game. Like you can press you can uh, press buttons quickly and insta-aim with an insta-kill weapon, you'll probably have radar on, you'll probably have health on minuscule, so you can one-hit me in the foot and feel proud of yourself. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. What's the point? What does, what does a 1v1 prove? I mean, I already beat you three times, I don't need to fight you again. You know, 1v1 just shows who has the better connection if you're host. And, uh, crap like that. And I don't do 1v1s, because 1v1s are stupid. I only do them with my friends in private matches. Hell, we don't even do 1v1s. We actually uh, have a, a little uh, a little group thing going on. A little uh, little party. And we uh, just run around quickscoping each other. And, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't do randoms, because I don't, I don't like quickscoping. I don't even attempt it in public matches. I actually used to snipe in COD 4 in World at War, but after Modern Warfare 2 came out, I uh, I stopped using sniper rifles. It just felt weird to me to do it in this game. I don't know what they did, but it was it just seemed different. I know it's a lot easier, but when the game first came out, I just didn't like it for shit. And here's that clutch I was talking about. And uh, these guys could have easily killed me. And then they're probably bitching about goddamn hit markers because uh, someone shot me. It's like. Well, they wouldn't get the hit marker if they were better shots. And they would be better shots if they took their time actually trying to get the shot rather than spinning around. And, uh, that's the game, guys. Ten and two. And, uh, I have a couple of flawlesses that I'll, I'll get out to you guys and stuff like that. And if you guys want to suggest games to play, then do it. But I'll see you next time.